Hey guys, you're in the machine. Side crow, pretty much like crow, but done to the side. You don't necessarily have to have crow nailed down to try this, but it does help. A few more moving parts here because in addition to balancing on the arms, we're twisting our spine completely sideways about 90 degrees between the hips and the shoulders. It ain't easy, but we're gonna give it a try. Let's get started. Okay guys, this is where we're headed. This is how we're gonna get there. The hardest part of this for a lot of people is the twist because my shoulders end up about 90 degrees from my hips all the way over here. If you don't have the twist yet, this might not be for you. No big deal, you just gotta work on your twist. I'm gonna start out squatted down on my toes with my heels off the mat and my stomach close to my thighs. That's important to get this elbow or tricep to thigh connection. Secondly, I'm gonna reach over. It's okay to help a little bit for the twist, so I'm actually gonna take the off hand, push a little bit as I reach, palm facing me. That's important to get some traction when I set my tricep in place. So, squat it down, stomach close. That gives me a bigger bite. Reach out, palm up. Push with the off hand, find the connection. This is the most important part. Notice I overbite this, because if I slip off, it'll go into place. If I underbite it and slip, boom, I'm on the floor. Palm pointed toward me, overbite this. You'll notice when you start this twist, your hips want to chase you. Your opposite side knee, the top knee, is gonna to try to poke forward. All you have to do to battle that is just pull it back like you would in any twist. In the squat, stomach forward, reach out, palm up. Opposite, push from the other side, make the connection. This is the most important part. Now watch, when I turn this palm down, it tightens things up with my tricep and my outer thigh. If I just bring it down straight, it's already sloppy and loose in the grip and there's a chance I fall again. So, once I have this connection, I set the other hand down first for balance, turn this one out, line them up just like I would be for crow with external rotation of the forearms. I'm not doing this or I'll never get the connection. So once I'm in, opposite arm goes down for balance, line them up where I like them, Nice and easy, I start the lean. Lifting up to get my weight on top of the elbows. And then I lean and I take off one and then the other foot. At first I can be really low in case I fall. It's not that painful. Eventually, I wanna extend my spine a little bit and push up from the mat. So one more time, starting with the twist, most important part. Squat down, heels off the mat, stomach on the thighs, reach out, palm up, push to get that connection. Ah. Once it's there, opposite hand goes down to support. Right hand, the hand that's connected, comes down to line up. Now I, I gotta get taller. I can't jump up to this, I'll lose my balance. So I'm actually gonna go up on my toes a little bit, make sure I'm planted. Lean in, one foot at a time. Once I'm up, oops, try to square my hips, and I can do whatever I want with my feet. I can separate them, I can extend them out straight, I can bend one. Lots of cool things to play with in Cypro, and it fits in so many neat spots during your regular vinyasa. Anytime you find yourself twisted, you can snap up, hook it, set an arm balance, impress everyone in class. Great for the core, great for the upper body, great for your focus. Give it a try. But the whole point of the machine is to relieve you of that suffering.